We got a 2006 Toyota Corolla. The lady says it's misfiring and it mostly misfires going up a hill. Let's look at this vehicle. Here's the vehicle. It looks like it's been hit in the front. It's kind of a rough old car. It's got about 200, a little over 200,000 miles, but she just has a misfire. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. I'm gonna scrape off the windshield so I can see. Okay, we have a cylinder number three misfire, system two rich, O2 signal stuck rich, um, positive current control circuit, sensor one, random misfire, cylinder one, misfire three, four, misfire, and O2 stuck rich. Okay, and these are all the same codes here. Okay, let's start fresh. Let's clear all the codes since I saved them. Let's go into misfires and see if we can get any live misfires. She said this happens when, when it's cold. It sh definitely is cold right now. Let's graph it. All right, here's our misfire counter set up. Let's start it up. Looks like one's misfiring a little bit. My goodness. We've got misfires across the board. I noticed that they've got new coils and everything on it. I even see some injectors that's been changed one time or another. With all that being said i hooked the scope up to it because i want to check for relative compression to see if all the cylinders have an equal amount of compression because it looks like they've been dealing it with this issue for a while so i think this is the quickest way to do it so i have my scope all set up channel a on 200 volts i'm on cylinder one as a trigger on the ignition coil that way i know what cylinder um if it is low, which one it is. And then I have my amp clamp hooked up to the battery positive. So we'll get an amperage reading and a single trigger. So when I crank it, it'll start recording. I also have all the injectors unplugged so it doesn't start up and I can just crank it. Let's crank it. It actually don't sound too bad. Okay. Here's our waveform. Let's zoom in. Yeah, everything looks really even. Here's our trigger. All these, if there was a low compression on any of the cylinders, one of these would be real low. Now we know that's not the problem. Cylinder number three was misfiring a whole lot. Uh, we know now that the compression's good. So what I'm gonna do, switch cylinder coil cylinder number three over to one and see if the misfire moves. We had multiple misfires, but sometimes when you have one bad one, it'll make them all misfire. So if you fix the worst one, sometimes it'll clear it right up. So let's try that.
Well, that may be one reason why it's misfiring. It's full of oil. That'll definitely cause it. Let me take the rest of them out and look at all of these. Goodness. They're all full of oil. Every one of the spark plug holes is full of oil. I'm gonna clean them all out, clean up the coal packs, take the spark plugs out, clean them, and see if our misfires go away. If that's the case, then it's gonna need a new head gasket. Not a head gasket, it's gonna need a new valve cover gasket. Okay, I cleaned out all the spark plug wells, the spark plugs, the coil packs, got all the oil off. Now some of the oil kind of got down in the cylinder. So let's start it up and see if it misfires anymore. It might at first, like I said, a little oil got in the cylinder, but let's see if it clears up. Okay, we'll start it. Got some smoke coming out from all that oil. Uh. Okay, I've cleaned all the oil out of the cylinders and it looks like she's running good. I'm gonna take it on a test drive just to be sure. I got a few little misfires on number three, going up a hill. I'm getting ready to go up this hill here. Let me see if it'll do it again. I talked to the customer and I said, this thing needs a valve cover gasket. The spark plug holes are getting full of oil. So look what we got, Fell Pro. So we're gonna stick that in. Okay, it's real simple. You just take out bolt here, 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 here. There's some back there. Loosen these bolts, these here, and then this lifts right up. See, I've already got it loose. I'll set the camera down. There it is, timing chain don't feel too bad. This thing's got a lot of miles. Here's the old valve cover gasket. Oh, it's kind of hard feeling, so it need a change for sure. Oh yeah, this thing is just brittle. Look, snap, that should be rubber. And that will cause a misfire. Okay, I'm gonna scrape this off, clean around the edges real good, get it good and dry. Um, clean this up just a little bit. Ain't gonna be a big deal. Put my valve cover gasket in, pop it back on. Okay, you don't wanna to forget to put a little RTV right here where this crack is, anywhere there's a crack, but there's usually only two here. And on the other side, you wanna put a little RTV there. You don't need much. Just about like that. Very little. You can see I put it there. And that's it.
I like to take a mirror and look around the back to make sure it's not folded. Because I've done it before. Okay, I'll put the rest of the bolts in. Okay, I got everything put back together. Let's start it up and see how she's running. All right, there is no misfires at all. All right, guys, <laughs> my thing, I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. I try to make these as clear as I can, but I'm also trying to get the cars out of the garage so we I can get paid and then give all my money to the bill company. <laughs> all right. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It'll boost the algorithm so more people can see it. And I'm just trying to build this little channel, and I appreciate you watching. Catch you on the next one.